So we've done a number of segments about fidget spinners. If you are around anyone from the age of, I don't know, 6 to 16, you <laughs> see them. I saw a college girl at a restaurant with one of these just oh, going. Boy. They're often used as a coping mechanism for patients with autism, anxiety, OCD, and ADHD. But they also became so popular, some classrooms have banned them as distractions. So we have Elise McGregor, owner of Little Newton's Early Education Centers, and you are going to tell us why you do not have fidget spinners in your classroom. Room. You know, we have younger children, but what we do with our curriculum is we keep them busy throughout the day. So our philosophy is that if you are teaching them Spanish and then you get them up and you have them jump and maybe they're learning math at the same time, we're keeping them busy throughout the day so they're not really in need of something like that. I mean, your kids are usually what? Three, four, five, six, six yep. in there? Um, you know, you can kind of understand why young people mm -hmm. are really drawn to these. Yeah. Not only the kids who might have a clinical reason that they mm -hmm. need something to deal with the fidget. Just every kid's always got like this energy and it does mm -hmm. kind of <clears throat> bring it down. Well, and I think that what we have to understand is that children's minds work really fast. Mm -hmm. And so as we're focused on that, if we're picking up the pace, giving them a little more breaks, Interesting. are they really in need of something? Then they don't need it. Yes. So why do you think it is that the fidget spinners have become so popular? Because, I mean, they have caught on like wildfire. Every kid has one, it seems like. Yes, and as, you know, we were saying, I've seen adults with them. Yeah. And I think it's something that's, you know, in right now. Mm -hmm. And I They're don't know fun. How, have they you are, played with one? You know, I'll be honest. You I, have? I haven't, and my daughter asked what? for one, and I told her she could. They're go. fun. Like You have to at least try Come on, it. Elise. <laughs> I just, I don't see the reason that we need them Well, why do you need a reason? To, oh, in the classroom? Yes. I think you're absolutely right. Yes. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, it is one of those things, and you think, mm -hmm. like, you go back to when, when we were kids, there were certain things that became distractions in the yes. classroom, right? Whether it was, I remember when trapper keepers were uh, banned because people were fidgeting with the Velcro. <laughs> oh, <laughs> funny. And then the teacher, because schools love to ban stuff. They just love it. Do you remember love the girl it. that sat behind you and continuously you kicked your chair? Kicked it. I it's the same thing, that right? Say, that right? It's nice. the same thing. <laughs> and so yeah. it's distracting for the mind. And so if we're really focused on keeping them engaged throughout the day, it's the same for adults. Sitting all day, you have less productivity, you have less creativity. Yeah. Yeah. Let's get their days broken up and let's get them focused so on something else. what can parents do? Because now they've got the kids. They're here all summer. I'm sure yes. they've got the fidget spinners out. What, are, what's, what advice do you have? You know, I think it's the same thing. Keep them busy throughout the day. And when you start seeing your kids getting antsy at home, change the scenery, bring them outside, yeah. give them something else to do. And I notice mm -hmm. that at home often we've been doing the same thing for a while and it starts to kind of deteriorate. It's good advice though that you can solve this from a top level mm -hmm. in managing uh, the activities yeah. versus dealing with it at the bottom and mm -hmm. just having a fidget. Elise McGregor, thank you so thank much. Thank you guys. Well, Go no. get a fidget spinner. Try it. Just, just try it. You have to try. I'm like I'll a pusher. Try, <laughs> try one. Just try one of them. It'll be fine.